Hello friends, welcome again. Now we are going to work with the front end with Vue.js project. And let's open the terminal here. I'm going to cd in my sites and let's navigate in the view breeze API. I'm going to open the project with VS code. And uh, let's run this npm run dev. So now we can open the project here. Open the browser and I'm going to open a new tab and paste that in. Yeah. But as I said, I want to change the port to 3000. And let's go and do that. So inside the vid.config.js, after the inside the define config for vjs i'm going to add the server and i'm going to change the port to 3000 now if i save and as you can see who we have here good now let's change also here because if, if i refresh yeah we no longer have that so let's change the 3000 and yeah we have now the project view breeze api good now we need to install the axios also the view router and the pina and i have created a two small tutorials for the view router 4 and for the pina if you are interested you can find in the channel so let's navigate in the viewjs.org and in the ecosystem here we have view router so let's get started and install the view router 4 so let's copy this command and i'm going to open here the terminal and paste that command here npm install view dash router at 4 so version 4 and also Let's close this and open the Pina because I'm going to install also the Pina here. So we have get starter and npm install Pina. Copy that and paste it here. Also, we need, as I said, Axios. So let's search for Axios. And let's install this is very popular as you can see. Let's install the Axios by saying npm install Axios. Okay, so let's copy and let's close. We don't need that. And let's open the terminal, paste that in, hit enter. And now we have all the packages we need. The first thing I'm going to do in this is to add in this project, we, I'm going to add this Axios default with credentials to true. So let's copy that. And inside the project, inside the source directory, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it axios.js. And inside here, I'm going to import Axios. So import Axios from Axios. And I'm going to say, Axios defaults with credential to true and also I want to add Axios dot uh, defaults dot base URL so we don't need to add any time we make a request the localhost 8000 I'm going to add it here so let's see HTTP localhost and we need to add the 8000 port here and we are ok save this and close now we need to go inside the main JS because here we have installed the view router and also the Pina and the Axios for the Axios I'm going to say here 
import the axios file and we are okay now for the pinia i'm going to say import create pinia here so import the create pinia from pinia and also we need to import the router but for the router i'm going to create a new file so inside the source directory first create a new directory called uh, i'm going to name it a router and inside here i'm going to create the index.js here is going to be the router so for that i'm going to say here import a router from a router like this and then uh, down there I'm going to say create a constant for pinya which is going to be equal with the create pinya so not create up create pinya like this okay and also let's create a constant I like to do something like this up which is going to be equal with the create up and add the app component here and then say app dot use pinya also app dot use router and then down there we just say app mount okay i think we are okay we added the pinya the router let's save and let's see if everything works correctly so refresh in the terminal yeah okay friends that's it about this video in the next video i'm going to add the navigation which i have here and also create some pages so see you in the next one all the best